Good morning, baby. Did you sleep well? You slept most of the night. You're good. Yeah, you want breakfast now, I can tell. We got some egg wraps from, what's the place called? Dutch Trading Company. The Dutch Trading Company, which I believe we walked by. It's in the hallway. Mm -hmm. We walked by last night. Well, if you don't know, uh, Kitty is here for a convention for travel agents, and I am here uh, to hang out with my baby. And this is the meeting times I have. So it's basically every two hour intervals, um, Tori needs to be fed, and I don't have the equipment to do that, but Kitty does. There's a couple of intervals where I think we'll take the boat launch over to Universal Springs. I know that's wrong. I can't Florida. I've been saying city rock, city walk wrong this entire time. But, um, <laughs> including that time I just said it. So this is fun. I'm excited. You went off to the Edge conference, and now it's just me and you, baby. You ready to go around and see the hotel? Baby feet, baby feet. We're outside now, so we're gonna try to do a, a couple of things since I'm outside. I don't need a mask. Technically, I don't need a mask inside. They just recommend the masks. Um, but I prefer the mask. This is a very good mask. It's like a sports mask. Very easily to breathe. Very, yeah, very breathable. So, this hotel is not accepting my ATM card. So, I think it's because it's worn. It's a very worn card. It's almost expired. Uh, so, but it's an American one, so it should accept. But maybe the machine is just very, um, I don't know, picky, I guess. So I'm gonna try to find another ATM in another hotel. We're attached to another hotel, and across the street is the Inventura Hotel. I think I said that right. So, I don't know, I'll check one of them out. It's huge. It's taken me forever to find the lobby and uh, not able to use the stairs because of the, uh, you know, the carriage here. Makes it a bit difficult, but I think this is where the lobby is, and uh, I expect to be impressed because so far I've been very impressed. This is very nice. So it's themed uh, as Pacific, you know, East Asian Pacific. Very nice. I guess a bit of South Pacific too. Okay, Tori and I will be having lunch here at Jake's American Bar at the Royal Pacific Hotel. We're very excited about this. I really like the, uh, the atmosphere in here. I wonder if the food is just as good. Hi, baby. Oh, Tori could finish these pretzels. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna share them. Is that okay? Oh, you're excited. There you go, baby. Mmm. Is that good? Mm. You like that? So Tori ate a lot of the pretzels. I think you might be full, unless you want some of my, ooh, burger. Maybe not burger, maybe I'll give you some fries. Would you like some fries? I know you like fries. Mm. There you go. Oh, we gotta get the straw going. There you go. Mm. Yeah, you got some. <gasps> That's good. <gasps> Very good. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that was pretty good. We hit the pretzel rods. That is definitely my favorite bit. And I think it's also Tori's favorite. She can get enough of those pretzel rods. I know you ate them all. We can't have any more. And this is my lieutenant and trusted companion, Bumblebee.
as I look out into this crowd, I can see that your right. capacity. This is this, this is called walking onto boat. <laughs> Where do we go? Straight across the water wheel. Okay. Hey. There's a ghost on the on the boat. here what do you think it is florida cold it is, <laughs> it it is, is florida but cold. i'm saying like when you look at city walk it just looks like there's a lot going on and it's really awesome and i want to be in there like you shouldn't go in there you never know florida bodies of water could contain alligators no i'm talking about city walk across but the water it just is, looks cool but this is canada beach weather certainly yes and she's perfectly happy we are here at a private event for the Travel Leaders Network Conference and we're being led in by this gentleman with the blue light and there's nobody here, it's awesome. The cat's in the head. <laughs> Both of them came to a place where they fought. Oh, there's a rope there. <laughs> this is where our private tour ends because this is where everybody is supposed to be heading in from. This is great. All right, guys, right here, <laughs> Honor Jurassic Park. I'll Thank you. you. to Hogsmeade! Oh, I'm so excited. I have chills. I have chills. They're real. Goosebumps. They're real. And the train. It's been so long since I've seen you. Oh, so long. Oh, I'm gonna try and get on Hagrid's Magical Creatures. Never been on it. Let's do this. Velocicoaster, I'm so scared of this one. Woo! Have a DJ out and everything. 
Here outside of Velocicoaster, I don't think I could do it. I really don't. <laughs> Especially not by myself. I just saw it go by. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. That, that part, once it goes over, that part, <laughs> scary. Look how empty it is for this event. Like, Velocicoaster is a ride now. There's no wait. Here to help keep you and your belongings safe during your raptor run today. Hello. Oh. I know that it's a ride now and that that never happens and I'm never going to see it like this again. I just, I don't think I can ride this. I'm too scared. Way too scared. My name is Michael. I'm one of the Raptor behavioralists here at Jurassic World. Uh, the Raptor you're going to be meeting this evening, her name is Blue. She's two years old. She weighs about 1,500 pounds and can run up to speeds of about 55 miles per hour. Now, do not worry. You do not have to be the fastest member of your party. You just have to trip someone else in your party and the rest of us will be fine. Just a couple of rules to go over. <laughs> a couple of rules to go over before we meet the Flores' Velociraptor. Um, once we approach the engagement area, we're going to turn around, put our feet right here on this black and yellow line. Please do not make eye contact with Blue, as that will make her want to eat your face, and we want to avoid that happening today, correct? Good, all right. Everyone signed the waiver, correct? If you work here, you definitely did. Um, and the rest of you, uh, it's in a small um, spam folder. It's an email of that we sent you when you uh, purchased your ticket this evening. So uh, y'all just sit tight. We'll get Blue out here in just a moment. Just a quick second. She's just finishing up her snack right now. We have a lost child pin back there that we feed her from. I'm just kidding. We don't feed her lost children yet. Or children in general. She got out last night, though, and that poor second grader. Second grader. <laughs> Don't worry, doctor told me the hand is still attached. <laughs> Fine, he's gonna make it. She's on her way. All right. <clears throat> Gotta do the whole hand Hello there, again. and welcome to Raptor Encounter. Please understand that this is a training facility, and as such, we must ask you to take special precautions before approaching the engagement area. Jurassic World reminds you that while photos and video of your experience may be taken freely, do not attempt to touch or feed the animals. Thank you, and enjoy your day here at Jurassic World. All right, I parked up. Part two blue. <laughs> What's up? Thank you. Thank you so much. Species Velociraptor. Perimeter fence line active. Extreme caution. Blue. Yeah. Running wheels. Blue. Favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very good sheep, but that's a sheep. It's like Flossberg gets him to a team. Jurassic World is now proud to present She's on Mongoliasis. Follow to the world. Follow. Yes, hello. Hello. Coming in hot. All right. Hello. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get it all out of your system now. Hi. Ah, yes. Okay. Calm tap. Easy touch. Yeah, yes. We got a lot of guests here. And, 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 do not bark at the guests. We are all about cuddles, right? <laughs> good. Now, if you're going to be a really good girl, I'll get you a whole bunch of chickens at the end of this, okay? A whole bunch of chickens. Y'all aren't the chickens. Y'all are... Y'all are... Hey! No barking, I said! Y'all aren't chickens. Y'all are brave. Y'all got this. All right, dude. Here. Eyes up. Follow me. Ready? Ready? Over here. Good. Over here. Very good. Coming in for some lovin's. Coming in for some lovin's. There we go. Okay, let's not do that again. All right. Woo! All right, as I said, but please do not make eye contact with the vicious predator or attempt to touch her or be your party friends. Sure. Okay. Okay. It's recording. Hi, so long. Yeah. Oh, this is going to go okay. All right, I'm going to have you set your bag right down over there in case you die. We're going to take it. Perfect. Loves that color. Awesome. We're going to put your heels right there on that black and yellow line. I'm going to stay here away from the team. Perfect. Smile right. We're going to take one step backwards. You're not on the yellow and black line yet. Just one step. Just one step. You're fine. You're fine. We haven't lost anyone yet today. Perfect. That's good enough. All right. One, two, three. We're terrified. 
Very good. Okay, we're going to turn around slowly, let her know we're leaving. So he will tell her goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Thank you so much. <laughs> they do have food out, <laughs> but I'm not really hungry. We just ate. Um, so that was me meeting Blue. I was nervous to do that alone. Crazy. Scary. But now it's getting more populated on this side, which is really cool because I basically just skipped over everything. I want to play a, a game. I think I can. Understanding that you have a lot to say. Yes. Okay. You did the thing with the Islands of Adventure Park? Yeah. So it was a private event. It was mm -hmm. like a VIP party and it was for the Travel Leaders Network, people that are here for the conference. So Ant and Tori were not able to come. I'm not sure if I would have even wanted her to come. It was kind of late. Mm. So no, she, was she fell asleep <laughs> as soon as we uh, dropped you off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to thank uh, Travel Leaders Network and Universal for setting that up. That was awesome. Hagrid's had, it was like a walk-on. Like, you just walk through the, the line, and there was, like, very minimal weight. I got on the ride in five minutes. And then, when I got off the ride, there's, like, a little door uh, when you exit where you can see the line again, and they asked if we wanted to ride again. And so we just went through the door and rode again. <laughs> so I did it twice in a row. And then I, I, was, I met up with some people from another travel company. And they were like, oh, we're going to Velocicoaster. I said, oh, that would be so cool. So I went over and then I chickened out. <laughs> I went through the line and then I asked the person, okay, I need the chicken outdoor. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and they were like, you sure? Like to, everyone was trying to get me on it. And I was just, I, I was too scared. <laughs> I hear it's amazing, but I was too scared. Um, so then I walked over, they had the raptor experience. I was scared to do that, but I did that. <laughs> it's like I'm nervous about this because I don't like being scared. And that was pretty cool. That was kind of fun, actually. And then I walked back into Harry Potter thinking I was going to grab another butterbeer, but I went on Hagrid's instead. <laughs> So then I went on Hagrid's and I went over to um, Hogwarts Castle. I was thinking I might go on Forbidden Journey, but that one always makes me sick, so I was like, maybe not. I thought that was E.T.'s castle. <laughs> and we watched the projection show. I filmed a whole bunch of it, and then my camera died right before the fireworks. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. So it was awesome. After the, the fireworks, I went back on Hagrid's <laughs> another three times. So I went on Hagrid's five times. And then after that, I was like, okay, I need some butter beer. Mm. I walked over to get butter beer and it was all included because the Travel Leaders Network and Universal are just awesome. So I got three butter beers. I only actually drank one, but I got three. <laughs> I gave one to Ant and I also gave one to one of my co-workers so it was pretty cool and I feel like my voice is raspy because I was screaming on the ride but it was so much fun <laughs> I want to take you on that ride okay I'll go <laughs> it was so much fun <laughs> but yeah 
they rolled out the red carpet and everything. I didn't see it at first because I didn't follow directions, but they had the red carpet out while we were leaving and I was like, I didn't see this. And they were like, yeah, everyone was on the red carpet and they were applauding us when we walked in. And I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> well, because you sell them, you sell people tickets. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I also learned a helpful tip. Mm. So if you're staying off site in Universal and you book a ticket through me, I could still get you that early admission. Mm, that's a good tip. Even if you're not staying on property. So book through me. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't cost you extra. Nope, doesn't cost you extra. Uh, um, I offer the same price <laughs> as everybody else. But you get the early stuff. But I get the early stuff. So, yeah, early stuff for free. Yeah, yeah. For not staying on property. So if you're doing like Disney and you want to go to Universal for the day, you could take advantage of the early admission and do a park to park ticket and just go park to park. You can stay anywhere. You can stay anywhere, really. That's all I wanted to say. That was awesome. I'm still blown away. I'm like, I want to go back to the parks. <laughs> Whoa! You're being so silly. You're being silly. No one who pants are dirty now. Yeah, it's okay. Oh boy. That's how we talk. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. She's so happy. <laughs> You're like identical. <laughs> All right, Aunt. It's time for your top five. Oh, okay. You Let's ready do for it. it? Let's do a top five. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Top five. This might, might be difficult. Uh, they always are difficult. Universal rides. E.T. 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 <laughs> okay, more than just E.T. Well, I'm going to put E.T. in one of those. Uh, I don't know what number that would be. But um, E.T. Uh -huh. I have. Uh, I used to love E.T. as a baby. And um, I like E.T. It's a very intense film for, for a child, though, isn't it? Yes. A lot of bad things happen in that movie. But a lot of nice things happen also. But anyway, uh, E.T., I like The Forbidden Journey a lot. Yeah. I mean, you don't like it. Yeah. But I really like Forbidden Journey. Uh, I don't remember all of the rides at Universal. The Mummy. Mm, I like The Mummy. I haven't been on a lot of the rides. We've only been... The last time we were at Universal might have been like 2017. And there's probably a whole lot of things that have opened since then. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I like The Mummy, I like Forbidden Journey, I like E.T. Um, I guess I could say The Simpsons, but because I just don't remember many of the rides there. Okay. Uh, oh, what's up? What are you, what are you looking at? Did you like at? the... Um, oh, I shouldn't help. I'm not sure <laughs> if it was like Spider-Man or whatever that you're driving around with D yeah. 3D. Is it called Spider-Man? Yeah, there's a Spider-Man one and a um, Transformers one. Oh, I'm not sure which one I like better. Okay. So, Spider-Man slash Transformers. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, what ride can she go on? Oh my goodness, what ride can you go on? Toby? She can go on some of the Dr. Seuss rides. <laughs> and also, there's a Simpsons ride that she could go on, I believe. Oh, with the... Um, the aliens. Yeah. That's kind of funny. I'm going to say the alien ride. Because <laughs> that, that seems funny. Okay. Yeah, so those are my top fives. And that's her top five list as well. She's never been she's, on these rides. Well, she, she's telling you. Yeah? Oh, no. She's saying, follow our friends. And Lucky's out. Right, baby? Oh.